Hello. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful week. I was sitting down to think about weekly messages and this book kind of jumped off my shelf. You know, it's one of the first books that I bought before I had the inability to read. <laughs> and as I had the inability to read, I can see where I uh, marked my place on page um, 19, <laughs> and that was that was the last of it. Then I slept with it after that. It's called chanting, and it's about rituals. The chanting part, this part that I I just opened it up to one page, and this part was a ritual uh, and, a, and an assignment. And I thought, you know, what rituals do we have? I mean, I, we have the full moon ritual and the new moon ritual and, and you know, people have a, a clearing ritual. And I know when I do a private session, I have a, a little ritual that Adiranda says I don't need to do uh, any longer, but it kind of sets my intention. And I have a ritual then of setting that, that frequency, setting that intention. And I just was looking in this book and it says, you know, what do you do, uh, what rituals do you have on a daily basis? Or what rituals do you have on a weekly basis? You know, do you have a ritual for brushing your teeth? Do you have a ritual when you get up in the morning? Actually, yes, I'm sure you do. Each time you get up in the morning, you do the same thing over and over each day. What would happen? What could happen? If you shifted some of the feeling around your rituals and look at them and see or feel what you're actually doing, you know, the ritual of, of cleansing your teeth, uh, try cleansing your teeth with your left hand and and see if you can create a new ritual. Try, you know, cleansing your body in a new ritualistic way to honor and be grateful for your body, no matter what it looks like or feels like. To just express gratitude. I know Adiranda was told someone once years and years ago to use like a salt scrub and cleanse off the old or scrub off the old energy uh, a few times a week and then use an, an oil or a, a lotion, something that you really love and massage that into your body to give thanks to your body and create that kind of a ritual. So, you know, in this, I mean, this is just something that came through. Um, Mother Moon, shine down on me. I am you and you are me. And we are part of everything. We are part of everything. You know, and to think of being part of everything in a ritualistic way is, is just a little interesting to think about, isn't it? It's just kind of one of those things that a ritual is something that you do over and over in a ceremonial way. What happens when you make a, a ceremony of cleansing your body? When you make a ceremony of eating your breakfast? When you make a ceremony of stepping outside, going to the post box or whatever? You know, think of, think of life as a series of sacred ceremonies and how you honor yourself with those ceremonies. Just a thought. Have a fabulous day. Have a more fabulous week. I love you. Namaste, y'all. Namaste.